everybody, Jeff Williams with Team Catfish. I got one of my uh, very best friends here with me, Jerry Croft. Uh, today we're going to do a favorite way to fillet a catfish video. Jerry's clean more crappie and more catfish than anybody I know. And uh, he's really an expert at it. We're going to show you how to use an electric knife. We're going to show you how to trim around the rib cages. And we're going to show you what we like to do uh, on this blue catfish to clean up all the red meat. Um, this is a, a video that people have asked me to do for years and years is what is the best way, how is the best way to fillet a catfish and I'm, uh, Jerry's going to give you some tips here uh, in just a second. So Jerry, um, you did, what kind of fillet knife you got? Well this is an American Angler. Does it matter? Does it matter? Not if it's sharp and cut. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well Jerry, um, what we're going to do here uh, we've got about, how big is this fish? About four or five pounds? Yeah, in the favor of five pounds. About five pound blue catfish. Okay, Jerry had a really good tip and he what he was going to show you uh, as he gets started here, he's going to show you how to cut this catfish and get all this meat off, off of here. But if this was a smaller catfish, Jerry could lay his knife in here and he could go down and go through the rib cage. But since this is a larger catfish, it's going to be pretty hard to do, isn't it? It's going to dull your knife in a hurry. So, what size of catfish can you cut through the rib cage? Well, if you want to keep your knife in good shape, I'd stay three pounds. Three pounds and under. So, let's 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 let Jerry get started here and see uh, see how he does this. Well, the easiest way for me is just right there is the end of the rib cage. Just go right back there, just lay that off, and then just lay your knife down right there like that. Come right up here around, come up before you got meat, come back to you, lay it right along the side of the rib, and come around it. Now you can do this with just a regular fillet knife, you don't have to have electric knife. Okay, now I want to stop right there. Now I want you to look and see these two pieces of meat that Jerry got off. First he started right here and he went to the tail and then instead of cutting through the rib cage he came around this way right here and he peeled that meat out of there. He just took it, ran his fillet knife and peeled that out of there. Now like I said this is called my favorite way to fillet a catfish. This isn't the only way to do it but what we're showing you is how we like to do it and, and listen to these tips here. Uh, let's go to step two and see what Jerry does. Okay we'll go to the other side. And do the same thing. Let's come back to the cage. Some people like to keep it all in one piece, but there's no advantage because if I was going to cut it up before you cook it. Now, on your bigger catfish. There's a lot of good eating. A lot of people, I see people throwing this away all the time. But you can come right back in here like this. Come right around here like that. Especially anything bigger than five pounds. You sure don't want to waste this. Just grab that up. Just turn it right around there like that. And pull that off. All right, let's, there ain't let's, any meat left on that fish. Let's stop and look right here and let's examine this and we're going to talk about that belly meat real quick. Now I've got my fingers in here and this is nothing but ribs. Okay. Now what Jerry's done, he come in, he cut the tail section off, then he came in here and he cut the section out above the ribs and then he flipped it over and, and you know his tip was if the fish is five pounds or bigger you can really get a lot of belly meat out of there and you need to look and see how he did that. He came in here and he cut down uh, below, around the gills uh, right by the, uh, the horns right here and then he just took and trimmed on the bottom side of the rib cage both that and he got all that belly meat. So um, now let's look and see how he gets the meat off of the skin. Okay now the belly on the belly meat Turn the inside up, lay her down, and this knife is not going to do better. Okay, now you got the 
outside of it off. Now, now this is the fastest way I know. Okay, now let me have that piece right there. Now, now what he did was, to recap that, he goes through it awful fast, but we had the belly meat. He took and he laid the belly meat with the skin on his board. Then he put his knife right in the middle, and then he cut the skin off the meat. After the skin was off the meat, the belly skin was off the meat, he flipped that over, and then he cut the internal skin the same way. He put the internal skin down on the board, and then he cut the internal skin off, and he did that by just laying his knife right in the middle of the belly meat and flaying one side and then the other side. So we got really, here, here's a piece right here he didn't get done, so, so let's watch him do that again. Okay, i just start in the middle of it. And there you go, solid meat. Perfect. Solid meat. Now, what makes these things good is how they finish them up. Now that was the piece above the rib cage. This is the next piece above the rib cage. So we're getting down to nothing but meat. Here's the tail fillet. You don't want to get too deep, you get a lot of red. I want to talk about the red here in just a minute. Yeah, we're going to cut it out here. I want to show everybody that. And really go over with them what they're looking for on the actual fillet itself, on the skin. Okay, let me see that first. Let me see that piece right there. Okay, now this was the skin. Okay, now what you have on Blue Catfish Channel Catfish and Flatheads is you have red meat and you have white meat. And a lot of times, people don't do a very good job of cleaning the red meat off their fish, do they? No, they don't. And that's what really messes up the flavor. So Jerry's done enough of this that he is, he's educated himself. When he lays his knife in there, he tries to just barely cut above that red meat. You can see the red meat right here, okay? There's a red lateral line in each piece, and then there's red... There's red right in here on the skin. The closer you get to the skin, the more red meat you're going to get. So don't forget that. When you're cleaning these fish, don't go too deep against the skin. If you do, you're going to get a lot of red meat, and that's going to make you to where you have to do a lot more trimming. Now Jerry's going to show you his favorite way to get this meat trimmed up to where we have nothing but white meat left. It works nice if you rinse it off a little bit to get it just kind of cleaned up where you can see everything really good. Okay, now on these fillets, on the belly meat, I generally cut it up in smaller pieces like that. Okay, and on this, you got to make sure there's a little strip of white meat right on the edge right there. It's bad. And it kind of looks fatty, doesn't it? Uh -huh. It's kind of shiny like pearl color. And then... Okay, now what he did right there was that was the lateral line red meat. That was the meat that is going down the middle of the fish. You always cut that out, don't cut you? Cut that out. Okay. So he's just down to pretty much nothing but white meat here now on this catfish fillet. Now he's trimming off some red meat that was left on top of the white meat from the skin. See if I got a better knife than that. <laughs> but anyway, then that what you got left there will work. Okay, you're just gonna cut it up into chunks. Yeah. You can cut it up into whatever size that you like to cook. But there is some of that shiny stuff. Maybe you can see it with the camera. Yeah, you want to get that off there. That's actually worse tasting than the red meat. Okay. And then come over here and just kind of V this out. Okay, that's the, again, that's the red meat where the lateral line is. And now you've got some fine eating. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to run a little bit of water on this while Jerry's finishing that up. And uh, I'm going to show you how good this all looks when it's done, when it's all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, catfish are fantastic to eat. And we get asked at Team Catfish all the time, uh, why don't you eat, why don't you kill more catfish? Why don't you kill more catfish? Well, uh, we do harvest a lot of catfish. I harvest enough catfish that we get all the fish we want to eat, but I've never really shown anybody how we like to fillet and what our favorite method is. So now that I've got those washed up, you can see the difference. You can see how white these are with just a little bit of hand rinsing, and uh, that's the difference right there after you get some good cold water on them. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Williams with Team Catfish. We're going to have a part two of this on how to prepare your catfish uh, for deep fat frying and uh, you're going to want to watch that. Uh, we'll have that on our channel. Really thanks, thanks a lot Jerry for showing everybody your favorite way to use that electric knife and clean those catfish. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We hope this really helped you. We hope these tips uh, will help you enjoy your catfish a lot more.